Hey everyone, this is Scotty Wick. I wanted to go ahead and um, show some work I've been doing and get your feedback as players of the pinball and um, see what your thought is. So one thing that I've uh, noticed and that I thought was, uh, should be fixed was that original tables don't have your standard uh, ROM configuration, which makes uh, having to get into the script and find line 132 and change it to this and that. And I kind of wanted to take that out of it. So one thing I've been working on is a ROM config, which I'm calling orbital ROM config. Um, and so if we're looking here at my Stranger Things table, this is <clears throat> a little bit of a preview of 2.0 that's coming out. And um, one of the things that you can do now on it is when you are in attract mode, um, you can hold the left or right flipper for three seconds, or both of them if you feel so necessary, and it'll load into the orbital pin config. And then here you'll be able to use your flippers right and left to go through the options. We got ball save time, we got free play, true or false. We got resetting of high scores. It's going to show you what your current high score number one is. Um, and we've got profanity because this table has a few different uh, scenes that uh, I've used from the show that have profanity. I thought, well, maybe people with kids want to take that off. Um, cut those scenes out. Um, so that's kind of a specific table one. But um, balls per game, we'll go ahead and show you if I hit the plunger, then it's going to take me into that. I can choose three to five. Those are the two options I've made available for this one. If I hit three, it's going to go ahead and save it. And this is all saving to, um, this is all saving over to the config. Um, it's actually making a record, the reg edit, uh, registry kind of thing. Um, so it will remember it next time you load up the table. It's not going to forget it. You don't have to do this every time. Uh, it will remember your settings. Uh, ball save time. Again, I can switch that from 5, 10, 15. I'm going to go ahead and save it at 15 because I like to play that way. Free play. I like mine on true. So I'm going to hit that one. If I went in to reset my high scores, um, then I'm given the option of yes or hell no. Um, so it's not just going to instantly. So it's going to tell me my high scores were kept. Uh, profanity. You know, I've got a sailor's mouth myself, and I enjoy the profanity, so I'm going to turn that on. Um, and then at any time, so you can see all my settings have been set there at any time, then I can hit. Um, the start key, and that's going to save all my configs. Um, and then there we go. So now we have, uh, you'll see it didn't give me the credits uh, anymore because we're now on free play. Um, and, uh, and then another thing is that now, uh, another thing I'm working on, which I'll give you a little bit of a preview here. Uh, well, actually, my, so the main reason I post this, and I'll, and I'll put that on, on the post, is that I really would love... Uh, your feedback on other things that you wish were in ROM configs for original tables, uh, things that you wish you could change that would make it easier and more fun to set the game up to your liking. Um, I can't, I was trying to change the difficulties so um, I could change it from one thing to the next. The problem is, is that currently, um, currently that's not an option uh, in here. So, uh, I'll have to find another way to do that if I ever can. Uh, we could do difficulties like uh, the change modes from being, let's say, two locks to three locks to four locks, stuff like that. But um, that's something I'd have to figure out. Anyways, uh, and then we've got a preview of the new uh, of the new way that the um, high score panel is going to work, and I need to. This is, uh, well, I guess it's it's going to be more stern style with the letters at the bottom. You can scroll them left and right. Um, for some reason, my, my keys decided to stop working on me here. I'm not sure why. Um, I actually put that back up. I'd kind of like to show that. Obviously, I, don't, <laughs> I didn't have a score because I haven't played the table, but I've got it forcing in a 15 million score. I bet the problem is, is that that doesn't make my top scores right now. Um, 
you know. Uh, so maybe maybe this won't actually show up, but let's give it one last try. Do, 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 do. All right, so you can see it's kind of uh, Stern style. You got your letters. I'm going to work on the top part where the initials are, but I'd love to get your thoughts on this in general. Um, and it would before this show. So I've got it so that you can put in a couple letters. You can then go to the back arrow and go back. Um, so if you put in the wrong thing, it's going to be more like uh, what you're used to on Stern. So just trying to make some of these uh, some of these features of original tables feel a little less, uh, you know, free for all. But uh, anyway, so let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love to get uh, everyone's everyone's feelings on it so I can make something that works for a lot of different tables and people can use it. So anyways, thanks again for your time and uh, hope you like it.